With motion capture being in high demand and everyone trying to get into creating animation really quick for both pre-visualization and for production use, today we're taking a look at Rococo and the motion library that they've created. You can now have access to free motion capture files and today we're going to take a look at how you can get this going. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Rococo brand new motion library and this thing kind of packs a punch because it is not just the fact that they've released a brand new tool which is or a brand new section of their studio which has to do with the motion library but now you can actually access this directly in Maya 2020.1. And if you're thinking that this is just the news, no, because they've also gone ahead to release a couple of motion capture files which are totally for free by just simply downloading the Rococo Studio that is directly here on the website. So I'm going to put links to that in the description. So with this said, you can also see that we now have the motion library. But first and foremost, motion library once existed only for Unity Play Store as this was a tool that was available for the Unity engine. So for you to download this, you're going to simply come over to the link which i'm going to drop in the description and you'll be able to get this and with that said let us dive right into the rococo smart suit and also talk about all of the things that you need to know so with the rococo studio opened up you're going to notice that we have just this so with this here if you go over to this small icon which we have here right now it is called ml which simply means the motion library so you now notice that we have a couple of you know things like from the categories to the publishers you can see all of the publishers that we have right here and some of the notable publishers that we have here are the guys from anima xyz we've talked about these guys a whole lot and we also have the guys from super alloy we have the guys from the mocap uh, militia and we also have the guys from centroid so these are very very cool guys all of the guys here they are publishers that are now working with rococo to get this here so if you simply click on on any of these guys so if I go over to anima XYZ for example I'll be able to see the motion data that are available here so this doesn't just limit you to just seeing one you can go all the way to see as much as you want you can also choose to toggle these things the way they are and you know toggle to see how much characters that they have you can also come through and search these things by the categories that they have you can also search these things by subcategories you can search for them by gender and also you can choose to just simply search for them using names or using price tags and if you just want to simply hit the search button you can go ahead and hit the search button like that and i can come through and type the word walk so if i do that and press the enter key it is going to search for all of the characters or all of the motion files that contain the word walk and this is very very easy and flexible for anyone to use and with that said you would also notice that right around here we have all of these things you know all maxing out to zero dollars all right so zero dollars simply means you can easily download this and you probably be wondering how you can proceed with this it is extremely simple so what we're going to do now is just simply find one so i'm just going to go ahead and all right so we like this one the guy walking downstairs and i'm going to simply check this here so if i check this i can come over here and simply come through check this right here which has to confirm the other and check out so once i do this it is going to go through and download this stuff for me right now you see it says purchasing and if i go over to the library it's going to add this up to the list of motion data that i have downloaded so i'm going to also select this right now and just simply double click and i can preview this as it is i can choose to preview this i can stop this basically the same kind of functionalities you have while you're working with the motion capture suit provided by rococo you can still do all of these things here so with this here the next thing which you might probably want to do is to import this into something that you're working on let's say you want to use this for you know retargeting stuff you want to use this for pre-visualization how we can get started is if you simply come back to the dashboard you would also notice i created a brand new project you can simply create a brand new project by simply clicking here and if you have the smart suit you can also click right here to create an actor profile this is very very essential as the mocap suit may not really work so well depending on the scale of the character that you're using to do this mocap of course you can try working out with the default 
profile but for you know for so many cases i would suggest that you create your own actor profile so i'm going to dive right here and you notice that right here we only have a motion library and scene one which simply means that we have not recorded any motion capture data or any motion capture file and here simply means that we don't have any motion you know any downloaded motion file right here so i'm also going to come through and say i would like to import this into this present project which we're working on so if i double click this right now and click right here you would now notice we have the mocap here if i simply go all the way back and try not to load this probably i want to get this out i can also do the same thing by simply clicking down here click on new and click on open import folder and this would open us a folder which you can have access to and you can use this to drive whatever motion capture data you're looking for so this is the motion capture data that we want and you can have access to this and if you're working with maya it's just very simple you know for you to open up maya 2020.1 and load this thing directly here so if you're working with maya you can load this here you can also choose to load this in blender although i did get a couple of results which are not so nice and if i simply open this in blender you can see what this looks like and i've also gonna have to play this back and it doesn't really look as great as i thought it would and i think maybe this is uh definitely going to be a hierarchy thing coming from the guys at rococo and hopefully this might probably be fixed later so if you go back to maya and simply press the playback button you would notice that we have our character working really really fast so how we, can we compensate for this or fix this what we can do is simply click over here which is our preference settings go over to where we have time slider switch over to playback and within the playback i'm just going to set this to 24 frames per second by one speed and once i do that and hit save you can now notice that we have a brand new motion capture file directly here in maya but it actually gets even way interesting when you have Maya 2020.1 because the guys at Autodesk just went ahead to release Maya 2020.1 and it does come with the motion library built directly inside so I think it's some sort of partnership with the guys at Rococo so what we can do is I'm just going to simply create a brand new scene and now you can have access to about 150 free motion capture files directly here in Maya so in case you're into pre-visualization or you know any of that stuff this is definitely going to be good news so I can go over to the windows animation editor and right here where we have a motion library and this is going to load and once it does probably you might have signed into this previously once it does you would have access to a whole lot of sets of these things so we've talked about this thing previously we did a news about it earlier when it was still you know like a hearsay thingy and it is actually interesting to see that this is right now available so if i come through and go over to where i have my library remember we did download a couple of things when we were working with the smart suit studio so when we went over to you know the ml which has to do with the motion library we downloaded a couple of things and they are now resident within my library so by simply open this you would now notice that we have this right here so this now is applied here but i have to click on the download button for some reason i don't know why there is no integration for this but for some reason you have to still click on the download button to get this here so if you want to get this into maya and you want to work with this directly here in maya what you can do is i'll take example with something like this i'm just going to click right here and this will directly import this into maya so once this is imported directly into maya you can proceed with you know playing back this as an animation and you can also proceed with doing a couple of retargeting using this tool so we've talked about retargeting a whole lot you know on the channel and at the same time we've talked about how you can play with motion capture data but just to actually put a lot of people in you know in the same space i'm going to do this one more time all right so what we're going to do is to go over to mixamo download a model from mixamo and so just in case you don't know mixamo it's a place where you can get free 3d models that have already been rigged and you can also get motion capture files from there so i'm going to simply get a simple model from there and I'm going to drag that directly right here and with that loaded in let's see what that looks like I'm also going to turn on this all right so we have this lovely looking model here so one other you know interesting thing with the new tool that is now available which is the motion library you don't need to go ahead and characterize your models or your skeletons before you start retargeting to your brand new model or to your brand new 
you know character so what i'm going to do is so we can get a very good view of what we're working with i'll go over to show and turn off polygons so this is going to make me you know be able to see the models for what they are so for this if i click here i now understand that this model right here is the motion file that we're working with because if i go back and press the playback button you can already see what we have right now this is the model which we just imported and you can also see that this is you know the character skeleton from that of the mixamo rig so for this i'm going to go over to window and go all the way down here to where we have animation and click on the human ik so once i do click on the human ik i'm also going to you know bring this about a point like this and now we have the character skeleton which is the arisa and if i you know click down here you can see i have arisa and i think this should be arisa one which is this i'm also going to click down here and go through and select the character which i want to drive this with so if i simply select this character right now it is going to drive this right here so with this done the next thing which we want to do is just simply press the playback button and once we do that you notice that our arisa one character is now being driven by character one so with that done i'm also going to go back here and click on show and bring out the polygons and click back on the show and take out the joints so once that is done we now have a model being driven by the motion that we downloaded directly from the motion library so this is how you can work with this and it's very very cool to see that the guys from rococo are now partnering with autodesk to create something like this so just in case you, you're trying to get into motion retargeting or how you can work with motion capture files or probably where you can get free motion capture files we do have a couple of videos that will lead you to you know resources and places where you're going to get good information about these things and at the same time i'm going to put links in the description for anyone that is willing to get this thing going so that's gonna be about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about the motion library and the update that it has with maya in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace